How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the source code. My name is Deshaun and in this video we are going to be getting started on showing you guys how you guys can retrieve some of your guild information. So this is actually incredibly easy. We're going to be doing this with commands and I could, you know, you know, parse this out and make a, a ton of these videos. Um, but really all we're going to be doing is we're just going to be looking at this is probably going to be really small for you guys. Let's see if I can make it a little bigger here. Uh, so really what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking, we're going to be just getting these properties, right? We're not going to be getting every single one, obviously, because we don't necessarily need to in this particular video. Uh, but we're just going to be grabbing a couple of them and we can start to see how we can use these properties to get some values or to get properties from our Discord JS server. So let's go ahead and bring this back over here. Okay, so the first thing that we have is our command structure. So uh, we're still using if else, we will work on creating a, you know, a better command handler in the upcoming videos. Uh, but for now, we're just gonna use if else. Uh, so for here, let's just go ahead and say if, and we'll say, uh, so if the command equals name, and we're gonna go ahead and send a message, and we're gonna say message, dot guild and now what we can do is if we you know if you're confused you're like ah how would i get my server name again jumping back to this properties file which is on the discord js documentation which will be linked down in the description is we can go ahead and just say okay name what is name the name of your guild okay great so let's bring this back over here so if i want to get the name of my guild i can just go ahead and say dot name and now if we go ahead and run our bot I'm obviously going to show you guys that it's just node and then whatever your uh, launch file is. And let's go to our discord here. I'll keep this up here so that way we can make this a little bit easier. So if we go ahead and say exclamation point name, we can see here that our server name is named playground. And now if we go ahead and quickly change our server name, playground server, save that. And we go ahead and run this command again. We can see here that it updates instantly. Okay, great. So now that we have our server name, let's just go ahead and copy this and let's just go ahead and say else if, and then let's change this to, then let's change this to online. And now we're probably wondering, well, what is this going to be? So I wanna see how many people are online on my server. So I'm actually just gonna split this into two messages for now. All right, I'm not gonna split it into two messages. We'll keep it as one. And then we'll just do a backslash n to uh, get a new line. All right, so now what I wanna do is I wanna say total numbers. And we wanna change this to single quotes, single quotes. All right, so we'll say total numbers. And I lied, we wanna change this to tildes because we wanna go ahead and get values from our uh, properties here. And now we're gonna go ahead and say wherever my mouse is, dollar sign, bracket, message.guild, and then we wanna go ahead and get the member count. And again, we can go back to the documentation, we can go up and I can say, hey, I wanna figure out how many people I have on my server. So I can look through this, I can look through this, or if you know, you, you kind of just use deductive thinking and you can just, okay, you, okay it's either gonna be online, count, total, you know, just start using those, that, that way of sort of deductive reasoning and working down your way in your vocabulary list to figure out what something might be if you just want to kind of quickly search it, or you can just go one by one, there isn't that many. But we can see here member count, and this will, the full amount of members in this guild. Cool. So now if I go ahead and say member count again, and we go ahead and relaunch our bot. Oh, we have an unexpected error. Oh, I see. Fix that real quick. All right, let's go ahead and relaunch our bot. Bot started. And if we say online, we can see here the server has a total total members of two. Okay, so this is really easy. And now we can keep going on and on and on and on and on, right? So now we can go ahead and say else if, and we'll say me. 
Okay, so now that we're moving into something a little bit different, it's not gonna be the guild that we're looking at. We're actually gonna be looking for author. So what we can do is we can jump back into the documentation here. We can go to message, which is what the base is. And now we can look through this and we can see everything that's related to the message. So we can see here that we have our author. So now we can click author. Now that we have author, we can see here that at one returns the author of the message, but we can see there that it's of the type user. So now we can actually click user and we can see everything that we can get from author. So we can get the avatar, we can get the bot, we can get the client, we created at, you know, all that fun stuff. We're gonna go ahead and get the username and then the ID here. So let's go ahead and pull that back over. So let's change this to author and then we'll say username. And then we'll just go ahead and duplicate this line. Realistically, I could send this as one, but I'm just gonna send it as two. And we'll say ID, and then this is just going to be author.id. And so if we close our bot, reopen it, head back to Discord, we can see here, now if we say me, my username is Deshaun, and my ID is that. Okay guys, so I think that's all I'm going to be doing in this video. In the next video, we're gonna be getting started with using some user inputs into our commands. So things like arguments so that way it's not just simple like you know exclamation point name online me it'll be you know we'll, we'll get into it in the next video but if you guys are not subscribed be sure to subscribe to the channel it really means a lot and also be sure to like the video to show you guys support and to help everyone who is trying to learn discord js learn discord js fast so i'll see you guys in the next episode and take care